Hi, uh, today I'm going to do a tutorial on another kind of a wintry kind of a look, I suppose. Um, I'm only going to be using this palette to try and show you that spilling stuff. Because this one here is all broken. Um, but it's kind of like blues and silvers, I think, and purples maybe. I actually don't have a plan, so that's why this could end up very bad. But I thought I'd try something a little bit kind of different. I was going to do like an Adele smoky eye, but I think I'll do that another day. Um, I kind of wanted to experiment with these silvers and blues for a while, so it won't be too wild, but it won't be like everyone's cup of tea, I don't think, but like sure. So I already have my foundation on. Um, I'll put like in the description bar what I used. Um, and I'm using black ground from MAC to prime my lids because I want this to be quite a smoky look. So it's if you don't have this, you can use a gel eyeliner if you have it. Um, that's kind of like my best advice for substituting it. So um, I put that all over the lid. Make sure you kind of get it straight down to the the lash line. Now, I think I want to make this quite like pointy. So I'm going to have to just, I keep to be kind of careful at this point because if you're using your fingers like me, it's going to be quite hard to get that edge. So that's where my crease is. So I'm going to start there and kind of pull it out like this will be all fixed up with eyeshadow so it's not like it doesn't have to be perfect but you kind of want the half kind of a shape in so once you have the kind of basic shape in you can start with the silver so I'm using the this silver here and I'm going to be using that one as well and then the two blues and I probably will use some purple so any kind of like metallic silver colours you have you know, use them because I think like the kind of silvers and blues are kind of Christmassy in a way. So I'm just going to put that all over the lid. So that's the basic kind of shape we're going for. Um, next I'm going to start using, I'm going to use my 217, one more brush so I start putting in the blue on the outer corner, small bit. Kind of like packing it in because you want the colours to show up. Well, then pulling it across your crease. So right now it's looking quite like unblended and stuff, but that's fine because we will blend it eventually. It's just to kind of get the colours down first and then to blend. So I'm going to use the darker silver now with the same brush I used for the lighter silver. And just kind of like on the outer kind of V there, like just make a V. <laughs> Of 
course, these shadows are really bad for falling out, so I shouldn't have put on my foundation first, but I didn't even think about that because I didn't know what I was doing when I put on my foundation. Um, I'm going to start blending this with a 224 brush. I'm going to get an angle brush and go in with the first blue I used and start to pull that down. I'm going to put a bit of the silver over it as well, just more so on this side. I kind of just want to darken the crease a small bit more. So there's a darker, like not the darkest black, but it's more of a shiny black, not matte. So I'm going to like get that with the same brush I used for the silver again. And... Like find where your crease is on the out outer side there and just draw that line in kind of So you just kind of darken it on the outer corner and pull it down slightly towards underneath your eye. Um, the next bit would be kind of to line your eyes, I think, because I'm kind of happy enough with the eyes now and I'll highlight in a second. But I'm going to use my smaller pencil from MAC. the root of them especially near the outer corner and then I'm not going to actually line the eyes with gel eyeliner for this look because I just don't really want to <laughs> so I'm going to use this molder pencil to kind of smoke them up near the lash line so for that I'm going to pull out my with a clean finger I'm going to pull out my I like that and then just kind of get into the root of the lashes and pull the pencil along them but you're not really creating an actual line here you're just like darkening it up there I kind of bring in the line upwards like darken it more so at the outer corner Okay, so I'm going to do the other eye and then come back and finish both up. Okay, so I finished um, this eye now, so they're both kind of the same. Um, what I want to do is start to kind of just highlight on the inner corners and above. So for that, I think I'm just going to use... I think they're kind of shimmery enough as it is, and if I put like any more shimmer on it, I could look crazy. So I'm going to use like a matte kind of a white colour. Um, so I'm going to use this one here from Sleek. It's from the Oh So Special palette. Any kind of a cream colour one will do. I'm going to use this small little brush here. And just put that like right under the brows. And slightly blend it into the blue. Okay, I know I said I wouldn't put any more glitter or like shimmer on it, but I really want to use this. And it's Ice Blue from Bobbi Brown, just an eyeshadow. It really, it just looks like a nice kind of blue colour. I'm going to put that in the inner corner here. I 
I'm using my Max Factor False Lash Effect one. Get like right down to the root and then shake it up. Are the eyes done? Don't ask me why I said it like that. Um, I just think they look quite like wintry kind of because I don't know blues and silvers and stuff are kind of wintry. Um, for the cheeks, I'm not quite sure what I want to use. I think a pinky kind of a blusher. Do too much of a blush. I'm gonna contour anyways and start with that with my Eco Tools brush and my. Sleep contour kit. My mineralized skin finish in rose quartz. And just the outside, like go around the outside with the brush. So we just kind of get the pinky part. And then just kind of throw that on. It's kind of like icy, so I think it goes in with the whole look. I'm going to use a small bit of Angel for the lips. It's just a pink colour from MAC. But only slightly, just to kind of like give them a bit of colour. And that's all I'm going to use. I don't want to use any lip gloss because I think it's shimmery enough as it is. And you don't want to kind of go overboard. But this would look really nice with fake eyelashes it would look really nice on brown eyes and it, it would be most effective I think on kind of brownie eyes or contrasting colours like green eyes maybe that kind of thing um it still looks nice on blue eyes like I have kind of bluey green eyes but like for the real kind of contrasting colours definitely brownie kind of colours would look lovely um I would, that is is kind of the lighting is really bad it's kind of it's really bright but I think that's like washing me out. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. So thanks for watching guys and subscribe and do all that kind of shiz and